Got your side ponytail thread. Baby. <laughs> on Dear June with Peyton. Oh, so you doing 30 videos a day? Uh, 30 videos for the month, yeah. <laughs> 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 Now you can tell the difference mm -hmm. from the side, like the flat profile. Hey! Where my forks and my spoons at? Guess who just came up here laughing like it's funny. This is a real black woman's kitchen. This is a real black mama kitchen, okay? You don't know nothing about a black mama kitchen until you go in a black mama kitchen. And I ain't talking about the hair on the back of her head. Placing the feet about hip width apart. Relax the arms by your side and just take a nice big breath in. You're gonna be so cute with braces. Period. You're gonna be so cute. Like, don't even sweat it, girl. Hey, BMW. I'm hot, girl. I'm hot as hell. Pardon? I'm hot, girl. I'm a hot girl. I'm a hot girl. Catch all this drip today. Catch all this drip today. Why, why I thought it was going to be zombies coming after us while we was trying to do this? Make sure you're all caught up on the Dear June Diaries and let's jump into today's diary and see what's going on. Yes, my head is itching like crazy. I'm going to snatch this wig off as soon as we get home. Do you ever have those mornings where when you wake up you feel like you're still sleepwalking? I have those mornings a lot and I know it has a lot to do with my energy and a lot to do with my gut. And no, not that kind of gut. You know what I'm talking about. And that's why I want to thank Bloom for sponsoring today's video and sending over the greens. Greens are the ultimate daily gut health supplement made with over 30 plus organic fruits and veggies, probiotics, and antioxidants, and more. They're going to help balance the gut, clear skin, boost energy, and aid in digestion. I was super surprised at how tasty this actually is, so you guys can click the link in the description box or go to bloomnew.com backslash greens to get yours today. And thanks to Bloom for sponsoring today's video. Cups of the rose, hey. bitches in my old phone. I should call one and go home. I've been in this club too long. The woman that I would try is happy with a good guy. But I've been drinking so much that I'ma call her anyway and say, Fuck that nigga that you love so bad. I know you still think about the times we. Say fuck that nigga that you think you found And since you picked up, I know he's not around uh -huh. Are you drunk right now? I'm just saying you could do better Tell me, have you heard that lately? I'm just saying you could do better Start hating on me if you make it. Uh, cups of the exo. All my people be. Good morning, guys. Well, should I say good afternoon? 1242. Welcome back to another Dear June Daily Diary. So, me and Karen are about to get out. She has a doctor's appointment um, at 2 30. So, we're about to go get some brunch and then go to her doctor's appointment. Um, 
And also, we need to stop by the mall because the Joe Malone meet and greet is tomorrow. I can't wait to meet you guys. So, um, I need to stop by the mall and see if I can, like, find something. I got stuff in my closet that I could potentially wear. But what I had planned on wearing was white. And <laughs> guess who's here? Yeah, Flo came yesterday. Yeah, so that's why y'all didn't get a vlog yesterday because y'all know how the first day do me. But I do want to thank my PayPals who reminded me of these gummies. I actually had two bottles of these stashed in the back. Like I got this like little vitamin cabinet in my kitchen full of vitamins and the other day i was looking for motrin and i found these now i will say that this says that it is supposed to help alleviate cramps bloating mood swings and hormonal acne i'm definitely gonna have to debunk the cramp one i don't see it uh maybe i should have started taking it before i came on um but it does not work in the place of motrin um but we will see if it works for hormonal acne. Um, this bottle I've had for quite some time. So uh, according to the bottom of the bottle, it's expired. But I have been told from pharmacists and um, pharma pharmacy technicians that that's just a date for as far as like sh um, being on the shelf, but not so much saying that it's shelf life. So I can still take these. They're... they're um, Vitamins anyway. It's not medication. Hey Ray. Hey friend. Hey friend. You hear? You hear? Oh, you know it. Oh shit, where you at? Getting a vitamin drip. Okay. Did you were you able to um schedule your massage? I'm doing it tomorrow before like early in the day. Okay. Okay, yeah. perfect. And, and you you said you leaving right after? I'm leaving Saturday in the morning. Oh, dang. Okay, so let's do this because I don't I don't know. Yeah. You know what? I don't even know. I don't know if, if, if there's like an all-women place. I'm a cow. I'm a cow because I really want to take you to that Moroccan spa that does the... the that you always go to. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, but I know. have never seen men in there. So I don't know I if it's a double check because sometimes they're, those are just like for women because you know they're like in the nude and stuff. Right, right. Yeah, so just double check. Okay, I will, and I'll let you know. Were you able to make um, reservations for dinner? Uh, I'm gonna do that now. I don't think we'll have any issues as far as Friday night, but I'm gonna do it. You said true looks, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm down for that. Okay. All right, we headed out. I smell good. I got on um, Late Labo Tonka 25 today with Skin Potions Kama Sutra. I'll be in the car, Karen. Okay. All right. I smell good. Check out my new phone case. I ordered it from Amazon. It was like ten dollars. I don't really like it. It it just it doesn't feel like it fits my phone that good. Yeah. <laughs> they see. <laughs> Kyra got a new case too. She's so doggone funny. Um, I like it because it's so like hmm, you know it's giving yeah. Um, but it's real flimsy and cheap. I thought it was going to be a hard now? shell. Thank you. I, I think I'm very funny as well. <laughs> um, I thought it was going to be a hard shell. It's a soft shell. So it's very flim flimsy. But I have two more on the way. So um, I ain't even tripping. Uh, are we going to the mall? Mm -hmm, we going to the mall. Well... I'm on 53%. That's, that's really good. I think I was, what, I think I had my car on the charger for two days. Because I keep looking down. Are you okay, Mom? Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, I had my car on the charger for two days. 
it was on 8% when I put it on the charger. It stormed yesterday and the lights went out. So it cut, it, the, the, the car stopped charging until I uh, reset the charger. And now it's been on the charger for, you know, a good day. It's on 53%. That's not bad. It said it was going to take four days to get me back to 100. So that makes sense. Somebody do it and I should, and it's yours. Yeah, so I smell real good today. Kama Sutra and Tonka 25 goes very well together. I don't know if I've done that before, but I'm loving it today. I'm loving it. So, yeah, that's what we got on the agenda today. I definitely want to work out, um, go by the mall, take her to her appointment, get some lunch. Appointment for need a, my feet. And I need a car wash, but I guess I could do that tomorrow. Appointment. From my feet, Mom? Mm hmm. Oh, you make my love come down. Oh, I see. Cameron, you make my love come down. Huh? You make my love come down. Why? Oh, you make my love come down. your side ponytail today <laughs> all right so we are here in the podiatrist's office to look at Karen's feet um, if you guys remember if you watch any of my previous vlogs then you know that she had surgery on her legs and um, well she had surgery on her feet they because had they had too. medically broke her feet um, trying to uh, fix her flat feet um, mm -hmm. and it actually made her feet worse and she's pretty self-conscious about it now so we are here in the podiatrist's <laughs> office for you know a consultation for them to look over her you know her x-rays and see what are the next steps um, more than likely she'll have to be referred out to an orthopedic surgeon um, she'll probably have to get surgery corrective surgery done to her feet um, because she went to the University of Chicago School of Medicine. Um, almost positive residents or students worked on her feet because this just does not look like the work of a seasoned orthopedic surgeon. I'm, ju I'm just sorry it isn't. Um, but the great thing about it is that she's here with me now and uh, Baylor has one of the best orthopedic surgeon departments in the country. So. Um, one thing about it, we're going to get, we're going to get it corrected and she's going to be, you know, happy with her beautiful feet because she had beautiful feet prior to this. Um, it was something that I was against, um, a lot of the, the friction that we had, um, that I had with her father's side of the family was because I was against this surgery, surgery and, um, yeah, I was proven right. Um, but that's, like I said, it's okay. The silver lining is, um, one thing about her mama gonna get it taken care of and she gonna be good. You gonna be good. You are gonna have the prettiest feet. You gonna be able to wear heels and sandals and all the girly girl things and you don't gotta worry about it, okay? Heels. Heels, yeah. But heels, like, hurt my feet. Yeah, I know, but we gonna... They hurt my feet too. And I kind of have, I have flat feet a little bit as well. So not as bad, but I do have flat feet. I don't have like an extreme arch in my feet. Hell, I, I slick my surgery too. Put an arch in my feet, hell. Put an arch in my feet so I can have these drips at all. Just to, from the injection site. Okay, so the doctor came in and she looked at Kyron's feet. She did <clears throat> recommend that Kyron not have corrective surgery right now just because of her age and she's not in any pain or she's not experiencing any symptoms. Um, she's going to put her in some orth orthotic um, shoes, I think, um, to help um, her flat feet and correct the way she walks. And she has an ingrown toenail she's been complaining about she hit her toe for about a week and a half and it turns out that the pain that she's been talking about is an ingrown so she just got numb for that um she did really really good 
because it looks really, really painful. They had to numb her with two large syringes on both sides of her big toe. And she did good. Um, so she's numbing up now and then they're going to remove it with a chemical that will basically burn um, a, the side of the toenail off which will um, prevent it from growing back in that area um, and causing another um, ingrown which is so interesting because I think her father always um, had issues with it as well so yep that's what we're doing today and um, she's gonna bandage it up so uh, I'm not sure how as, as far as walking will go so I may have to like take her back to the house and let her chill I do still need to stop by the mall um so we'll probably go back to the house and let her rest because I, I, I wouldn't want to walk around after I just got my big toe numb that's just me all right we are all done at the doctor camera head like a little mental minimal invasive procedure so she walking with a limp like a real pimp it's nothing to a player from the himalayas you hear me? but uh <laughs> no seriously we're gonna stop in and get some um ice cream make her feel better she want to go straight to the house and lay down and get some rest now she's had a long day it was two squares Two, I mean, down says two squares, squares. Two squirrels fighting over that nut. We are on day seven of the lips, and I am loving them. I am loving them. So it looks like I'm probably going to have to order new bar stools because oh, Chai Cameron been wasting juice in them, cranberry juice in them, fruit punch in them. And then last night, I guess, I don't know if it's the dye in her pajama pants, but they have faded on the, the suede. So now the whole chair, well, one of them is basically pink. So I'm just gonna have to order new bar stools because I have magic erased as much as I can and I don't even think this gonna come out. Cause I've sat in those before and something faded on it and I wasn't able to get it out this seat. And baby, I just, I have done all I can do when it comes to these bar stools. I just, I need new bar stools and I probably should get leather instead of suede. This hair is also true for you. Smoke like everyone, I do the most. I ain't here as long as I do. It's like I got a mind. I'm feeling it inside. So used to think I'm confident in the world. Is this called the best? All the time, the best stuff. I'm moving too fast. I feel like I'm in crazy competition with the best. I got a mind. I'm just gonna 